Hey guys, welcome to the Coding Zoo. My name is Shane. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video to introduce the Coding Zoo to you and tell you what it's all about. So, let's go ahead and do that. guys welcome to the coding zoo my name is Shane um, I just wanted to do a quick video to introduce the coding zoo to you and tell you what it's all about uh, it's basically an online free website and YouTube tutorials on how to program how to program for the web we're starting out with HTML we're getting into CSS and then eventually we're gonna spend a lot of time in JavaScript um, so why are we doing it um, I'm a software engineer for about 18 years now I love the program. It's very, I'm very passionate about programming. Uh, to me, it's very creative. It's a challenge, and it's such a satisfaction in creating something. This is something that I actually started to learn how to do when I was about 10, 9 years old. So uh, I actually am self-taught and um, started to learn around the same age that my children are right now. So I thought it would be cool if my children learned how to program for me, right? Um, I wish I would have had somebody to teach me when I was younger instead of having to just learn it all from books. So I thought it would be a great idea. The kids showed a little interest in it. And uh, we decided to go ahead and do some study lessons. And at the same time, I thought, well, you know what? Why not record it for other people? There's, there's bound to be somebody else out there that might get a benefit from it. So we decided to go ahead and create the website and YouTube tutorials. We put out at least one video a week, uh, usually on Thursdays, uh, on the, uh, programming in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Uh, we also do uh, a quiz video every now and then. It's usually fun. The last one we did was using uh, bean, bean boozled jelly beans. Uh, they're very tasty. And we also have study material on the web. We would love to hear from people as they start to do the lessons. Um, we'd love to, you know, learn how we can present the material different, uh, so that maybe so that it might be more helpful for you. So, why should your child or uh, teenager or young adult? Why should you learn how to program? Um, that's one of the uh, few questions I've been asked from various people who've seen the Coding Zoo. It's a great question. I know for me personally, I just feel that the programming industry is huge. It's constantly growing, there's always jobs, and programming is something I taught myself. So I feel it's a field that, I feel that it is a field that in, almost anyone can get into, and it's well, it's well paying. So a few reasons why you might want your child or teenager, or, or if you're a young adult and you want to learn, a few good reasons for learning uh, are um, it pays well, it's creative, it's fun, it's challenging. If you surf the web and, and dig deep, you'll find out that it's one of the biggest growing jobs in the U.S. I think also it was actually reported by the Wall Street Journal uh, that according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics that by 2020 uh, there'd be an estimated one million programming jobs in the U.S. that weren't being filled. Um, so man, that's a lot of jobs. Um, so there's, there's big opportunity there for the next generation uh, to, to step up and and uh, get some of those jobs back here in the US and um, make a living at programming. And then I mentioned it pays well. So I think if you look uh, across the web you'll see probably the average programmer, uh, senior programmer, makes around 113000 a year. Uh, which is not bad. That's not too bad. Uh, there's definitely a lot higher paying jobs out there but uh, it's definitely not too bad. And that's for a senior programmer. There are positions uh, that are a little higher. And depending on where you're at in the country, you can make up to, you know, counting all your benefits up to, you know, two or three hundred thousand a year. Uh, it just depends on where you live. Another good thing, if your child starts to learn how to program now, they get the benefit of one, understanding the technology around them. Look at the phones, smartphones, smart TVs, smart cars, smart house, everything is uh, becoming uh, com a computer basically, right? And how many people understand how those things work? Um, your kids, if they start learning how to program uh, sooner, 
will actually learn how those things work. That's a great benefit. Um, they won't be ignorant to what's going on around them. It's not always easy to learn. It is work. Uh, it, it can be fun though. It can be very creative. Um, and that's one good aspect about learning the program now. Uh, a child gets to uh, be creative and use their imagination. It's just like any other art. It's just like painting, uh, writing a book, um, doing videos, right? Making a movie. Uh, you know, a child gets to use their imagination and build things, be creative. So that's definitely a good thing for a child to learn. Problem solving. It's definitely, it's math. It's basically like math. You, the child is going to learn a lot of problem solving, which of course will help them as they get older. You know, I'm self-taught. Um, I definitely recommend that if, if someone can go to school, to college, to definitely do that. But there are a lot of programs out there that didn't, um, that I've worked with from day to day. Um, that said, I hope your child gets to go, and they should go. Um, and if they do want to go, if they start learning how to program earlier, it definitely uh, looks good for them on, on application to join a college. Uh, it's really a good thing. So, you know, one might ask, how can a person learn how to program at a, at a, at a young age? Well, that's what, uh, there's many resources on the web. There's so much information out there on the web. There's so much learning material. Most programmers I know these days don't even buy books anymore. They just learn it all from the web. Uh, programming is a field where you have to constantly be, be learning. There's so many new languages coming out, so many new ways of doing things. You're constantly learning, and most people are learning through the web. Um, that's one reason we wanted to share with the Coding Zoo. We wanted to um, kind of learn together um, this, the programming, HTML. Uh, they wanted to learn programming. I wanted to learn how to do videos. Uh, and how to maybe even you know teach a little bit better. Uh, we're still learning, but hopefully you know you'll find it useful. Uh, the video should get better as we progress. Um, so once you get to a certain point at the coding zoo, um, we'll have certain milestones. And if you want to, your child or yourself, you can upload the pages you've created so far. So we'll actually host your uh, created web pages on our website, so you can show your friends or family. You know once you learned a little bit. For, uh, once you find out you really enjoy it and you've got into learning, if you wanted to even get more serious in the study, um, and you can, like I said, you can learn a lot from, I believe, our videos in the future. Uh, there's definitely resources on the web, as I mentioned. Uh, you can, there's also training camps, coding camps out there. It's becoming a big thing. Uh, there are a lot of people coming straight out of coding camps, not even going to college, getting jobs, uh, entry-level jobs in programming. So it's, a, it's, again, one of those fields that's really yeah, you know, as long as you know what you're doing and you've shown you can study and, and stick with something, uh, it's a good field to get into. It's, it's easy to get into even without a degree. You know, what languages should you learn? Um, the coding zoo starting out with HTML, CSS, usually I would recommend some, an easier language to learn first. Uh, HTML is very simple to, to, to learn. Uh, you get to see immediately what you're programming because it has a visual aspect of it. Some programming language where you're doing back-end stuff, it doesn't. Um, so it's a good place to start. Um, we're going to get into CSS and then JavaScript. And JavaScript uh, has been around for a long time. Uh, and one might think it's getting old and dying, but it's not. It's actually growing, getting even more and more mature. It's really taken off. So the growth there has grown. It's just uh, amazing. So there are websites out there that actually uh, gather data around which languages are growing and how prevalent they are in the industry. Uh, some are, are growing really fast, but there's not a lot of jobs for them yet. It's just haven't you know haven't um, grown uh, enough in the industry. They're still new. Uh, those are good jobs. Um, there's a lot of languages out there that are old and they're slowly uh, going away. Um, and then there's some that have been sticking around, like, like Java. Java hasn't had much growth, but man, there are, it's one of the top languages to learn. There's so many jobs out there. Uh, and that's what I've mainly done uh, most of my career is, is programming in Java. Uh, JavaScript is up there with Java. There's a language called Python. It's up there with Java. It's growing real quickly. So I would, I would highly recommend that, you know, just like any other uh, art, like music or an instrument, singing, Re, uh, you know, writing, um, painting. Uh, have, you, have your child try it out, if they're, especially if they're good with math or good with problem solving or they like to be creative. Uh, it has a combination of all that. But just like any other um, 
side activity. You know, there's going to be fun times and it's going to be times it's, you know, it's, it's studying. It's, there's hard work. You need to do the exercises. You need to study a little bit. But it's well worth it. Just like with videos like YouTube, the YouTube videos we're doing now, they're, you know, back in the day when people wanted to be filmmakers, they couldn't do it. YouTube, anybody can be a filmmaker and, and can possibly be successful. It's just so many ways to do these things now. Uh, same with programmers. You know, back when I was starting, most people didn't even have access to the Internet. Uh, I didn't. Um, so it's very hard to write something yourself and get started. But today, you got Android phones, you got iPhones, you could even start your own business. You can learn how to program, create an Android program, sell it, sell it on the Google Marketplace, create a, uh, a Apple program, iOS program, uh, sell it. There's, there's people out there doing it. There's just so many avenues that technology has provided for us these days. So I highly recommend that you encourage your child uh, or yourself, you know, to take advantage of those. So if you have any questions, um, you know, we want the Coding Zoo to be a community. Uh, I'd love to answer any questions you have. Uh, please do leave comments. Uh, you know, good constructive criticism is great. We'd love to know how we can uh, make the videos less boring or, or easier to understand. Uh, and if you just have a question about what, we, what you're learning in that lesson, just just shoot, shoot me a message and I'm sure I'll respond. I'd recommend you do the lesson. If you're, if you're a parent and you're doing it with your child, I recommend you do the lesson with your child. Uh, walk them through it. Stop the video if you have to. Uh, do the homeworks. Uh, do the quizzes. And just have fun. Let us know if you're interested. Be sure to subscribe. Click that bell. Like the videos. Uh, the more we see that happening, the more we'll know that it's actually a benefit to someone and we're we'll hopefully produce good content for you. So. I look forward to uh, talking with you, and again, we hope that you uh, learned something from the lessons, and uh, we'd like to hear from you. So come join us. We'll see you next time. Street Journal in 2014 actually wrote an article that said by 2020. Um, so in 2014, the Wall Street Journal in 2014. I'm sorry. Stop. I'm so sorry. Come on. Let me get it out. Come on. I'm almost there. Shh, quiet.